Hello everyone, today I want to speak with you about something that's happened to almost everybody in the world and it's a little difficult to get rid of this when we don't really identify the problem. So how we get rid of negative feeling, negative emotion in our life. Sometimes we have some kind of feeling that we resist to think about it, some kind of thoughts that we resist to think about it, and we naturally want to avoid them. And it's no totally normal, but normal. But we really have to do is, you know, include this in our thoughts, like we really know what happened and become conscient about it because that is the easy way that we can identify the problem and we can confront them. So what about if we have something that we don't identify? Most of the time we have some kind of feeling, some kind of thoughts, and we don't really know why we have those feelings, why we have those thoughts happen in our life that are not positive, that are very negative. Well, the first thing we have to do is trying to push the emotion away and probably that's gonna work for a little while but not for a long time. So the right thing to do is keep those thoughts, be open to them, let them pass through you and become conscient about it. When we become conscious about the stuff happening in our life, then we can identify problems and we can find the, re the solution for those problems easy than when we resist them and then when we avoid them. So what we have to do is think about it and think in the positive way, like, okay, I do have some kind that something is holding me back, but I don't really know what it is. I want to know. I want to know what it is. Even if something that hurts me, that something is painful to think about it, that something is, you know, made me feel probably ashamed about what it is or we don't want to accept it. Well, most of the time when we don't accept it because something we think and we recognize is something that really is not something really valuable but we give you a really big dimension or three dimension what are those little stuff that happen and then become like a big monsters like a big shadows in our life and then it's difficult to a sect that we are having those kind of ridiculous thought or unnecessary thought and we don't accept it and when we don't accept it we are resisting and we resist them then the problem persists in our life what we try to do today is identify the problem sometimes you know you feel bad with yourself and you feel bad with another person and you say, why? I don't know why. I don't know. Or I think it's because that person says something that hurts me and I keep it. You can pass your life carrying on and other people's thoughts. You can keep your life carrying on this heaviness back, back because other people think something or say something really bad about you and that person probably somebody you love and that make the thing worse because it really hurts you and i perfectly understand it's totally normal it's probably something that happened to all of us and sometimes it's easy for some people and not that easy for others so what we're gonna do today is try to identify why we are having those feelings that make us stuck in the same place, that don't let you go 
that don't let you make a progress because all of us really can do everything we can we want to do but we need to get rid of the mentally limitation that we have okay so let's think that somebody that you love so much one day tell you that you look ugly or that you are somebody very nasty because that day you probably doesn't really look well done or very nice or something and that day was the day that you was exactly more vulnerable for some reason that that person didn't know probably that person just you know sometimes people are rude and it's rude to say something even is you know it's not acceptable but you have to be strong you have to be strong and you need to not let people put stuff in your mind and make it there like something is real because it's not real it's just a moment it's just something happened and just something passed by the moment and you can get rid of this in any moment because you didn't it don't belong to you and you didn't burn with this okay so but I recognize this and other stuff become bigger in our life because they are happened in a moment that we are fragile that we are not strong enough and that thing really hurts us and we keep uh, carrying those feelings for a long time like it, it's something that we have to that is part of our life and it's not it's not so what we need to do is understand identify and what moment that happened not exactly with what person because that they come that make it really make the thing worse but if you think about the moment and you think that word came from somebody else you know exactly for that person you love or you care about then that make it easy then you recognize is somebody else and not exactly that person say something that hurts you you and that person who tell you that is not somebody you really care about or you love that much or you have any feeling about it then you're gonna notice that the word that that person told you at that moment wasn't really important so it wasn't really something they have value to hurt you so let's try to play that game to identify how we can get rid of those feelings that keeping us uh, stuck in a place that's that the keeping us the key holding our back to make the progress that we need or that we want to and when we identify them let's try to accept them as a something somebody say to you but it's not something that you accept as a your own thought because when the problem when the problem begin is when you put you accept those other people's thought and the other people words as something you say to you and when you say to yourself to yourself <coughs> sorry um, really bad words sometimes it's difficult to push away because you adapt them and you may be part of you and when you accept them then you will start feeling bad with yourself and it's not fair it's not fair so we have so many value we are very valuable to the world to the system to ourselves to the creator of the universe and we need to understand that the value that we have are something that the creator put for us for free with the intention to make us perfect so everybody have the same right and we just have to understand in order to keep our life and the way of the light because this is what we need 
And when we accept them and we feel that our life is straight ahead, walking straight toward the light, then we start looking our life making progress. Then we start looking <clears throat> ourselves like a something brilliant, like a something really great part of the universe. And this is what we have to. So please identify those and don't try to stop it. Don't try to push away them. Don't try to avoid them. Just identify those little problems, those little obstacles that are having passed in your life and giving you this attention. And then you're going to become conscient about it. And when you do that, then you're going to notice that they don't have the value that you are giving to them. So you're going to start rebuild, reborn yourself. You're going to start becoming stronger. You're going to get back to your self fifteen, and you're going to have so much for yourself and for others to give. Life is amazing, and we need to know how to keep it in the right way. That was my video for the day. Besitos, and I see you in my next video.